Pedigree Pet Foods is a subsidiary of the American group Mars Incorporated with factories in Melton Mowbray and Burstall Leeds and offices in Virginia. In 1934, the company Mars started taking low quality meat and can as dog food by the brand Chappie. In 1951, the annual sales reached £1 million and the company moved to Melton Mowbray. In 1956, the company changed names to Pet Foods Limited to be able to produce other products other than only the Chappie product. In 1972, the name was changed to Pedigree Pet Foods. In the 1970s, the company produced 400,000 tonnes of animal foods a year, but in the late 1980s and the 1990s, the company experienced new competition from the company Nestle Purina Pet Care. The most well-known slogan for Pedigree Dog Food is, Top Breeders Rent It and the contemporary slogan is, we're for dogs. In the US, Pedigree has made a foundation devoted to helping stray dogs find new homes by providing grants to dog shelters. The foundation has raised more than four million American dollars. Thanks to social media, we know what our close friends like, what our not so close friends like, even what strangers like. But what do we know about our best friend? We present The Posting Tale. The campaign, The Posting Tale, was made in April 2016 in a partnership between Saatchi and Saatchi Madrid and Pedigree. The Posting Tale is a vest equipped with sensors, a camera and a GPS for a dog. These devices allow the product to differentiate between regular and happy tail wags. When a happy wag is detected, it sends signals to a camera to take a photo. The photos are then uploaded automatically to the dog's social media account. A sensor is connected on the vest that wraps around the tail. This device detects the wagging and the accelerometer on the device detects movement and differentiates the regular and happy wags. The camera is attached on the vest and is situated just above the sensor towards the lower back of the dog. It's in a perfect angle to photograph the head of the dog and the scenery or the view in which they're facing. The Wi-Fi dongle with 3G is just above the camera towards the upper back of the dog and allows for the posting of photos on the do dog social media account so we can see the data it shares. A Raspberry processor with matching learning capabilities is situated near the built-in 3G Wi-Fi and couples with the accelerometer to detect the wagging movements. The GPS connected to the vest has the ability to detect the location in which the dog is at and particularly where it's happiest due to the tail wags. Built-in devices within the dog's vest can log the toys, people and food that makes the dog happy. This creates value for both the owner of the pet and the pet itself and allows it to be shared with social media friends. The dog's tail essentially turns into a big data generator, which can be considered pedigrees and the owner's information research method, where in which it can see dog's wants and needs. This allows for the ability for it to be given more happy moments by its owner as they now have that knowledge. Also, say that the pet is fed pedigree dog treats and it does or doesn't wag its tail, then pedigree can use that information to see firsthand how their products are really liked by the animal itself. This is an example of the company and the owner better understanding why the consumer, the dog, behaving which helps them better understand the needs and wants of the pet, as well as having Sachi and Sachi Madrid improve the product and adapt it with better marketing highlights and techniques to satisfy the consumer. If you segment the market for this product, the variables that are important is demographics, psychographics and behavioural segmentation. This is not a product that the consumer needs. It is a luxury and a want. And therefore, the consumer for this product needs to have a higher discretionary income. The target strategy is differentiated and concentrated as this product speaks to a smaller spectrum of people, a niche. The target group is middle to high class dog owners living in Western countries. By using the words, your best friend, instead of your dog, the campaign hit the consumers on a more personal and emotional level. Perception is the process of information about a product or a brand when a customer first encounters it. All the senses are involved when looking at a product for the first time. There are four main stages of perception, which are exposure, attention, interpretation and retention. Exposure is not enough to impact a person, so attention is needed, 
Typically, attention would be low when watching a commercial or looking at a magazine ad. Though this might change if the viewer is looking at an ad they are interested in. Interpretation is making sense of what is being seen. Retention is the viewer's ability to hold on to the information from the ad. People are exposed to the posting tell through its frequent posting on social media that has enabled it to go viral. This product secures a consumer's attention in that it is nothing that has ever been tried before. It gains interpretation through its simple explanation of its use within the ad. It's created retention by evoking human emotion due to the bond people have with their pets, the simplicity of its use, and the fact that the product and its use is displayed on the pet's social media account. The seven P's that are used in the marketing world is price, place, promotion, physical evidence, people, product, and process. For a product to be innovative, it typically has been referred to creating more effective or new ideas, products, and processes. The posting tale is very innovative as there has never been anything like this done before. As already mentioned, it uses very modern technology with a GPS and the Raspberry processor to tell when there has been a happy tail wag. Pedigree, such as Madrid, have used an effective marketing strategy to target each of the seven Ps. Although the price has not yet been identified, the platforms it used target the audience effectively as the product went viral on social media. The promotion of the product was smart thinking in that a competitive a competition was created to give people a taste and an opportunity to experience the posting tale. As for the physical evidence, people, product and process, the creation and exposure used to demonstrate the posting tale targeted each of these. As for the distribution of the product, it is currently not available to the general public. However, to engage consumers in the early stages of the distribution of the posting tale and to give them a taste, Pedigree Spain organised a contest in April on their Facebook page. Facebook users who have liked the page were asked to send in photos of their dog on the post. Three winners were chosen and were sent the posting tail device as a test. Detailed results of the experience have yet to be shown on Pedigree's Facebook page. However, users can see what the winners got to experience and how it's an innovative marketing product through the photos that were shared on social media and the video created by Pedigree of the posting tail in all its action. This was an effective strategy to engage consumers and to spread hype of this one-of-a-kind, tech-savvy product as it allows consumers to feel excited about winning a competition, trying out such a new and inventive product, and then giving their feedback on their experience. A downfall of this competition was that it was only limited to Spain. When the posting tale was first announced on the 11th of April, it was broadcasted on both Pedigree's Spain's Facebook page and Saatchi and Saatchi Madrid's website as well as Pedigree and Saatchi and Saatchi's YouTube accounts. Since then, it has embattled global online hype. Tumblr blogs to a US teen Vogue article to Yahoo have all written about this product and what it means for the future. A lot of the hype has associated around the fact that social media users have created Facebook and Instagram accounts for their pets, but with the posting tail, they no longer have to do so. On Sachi and Sachi's YouTube account, the posting tale has received 65,000 views. Video has received tens of thousands of views more than another video they've posted. On Pedigree Spain's Facebook page, the video has received over 550,000 views and the only video to have ever surpassed the 100,000 mark. Due to the video's widespread success, the hype about the product so far, it's safe to say that the posting tail is already a unique, successful product for the market. Also, it has increased both Pedigree and Saatchi and Saatchi's brand exposure as a result of the marketing strategies and campaign so far. It is recommended that due to the posting tail's success and the talk it has created through a variety of articles, blogs and on social media, the distribution of the product so far should not have been limited to only Spanish Facebook users. For a product that is so unique and innovative and unlike anything that's been used before, other pets and pet owners around the world should have been given the opportunity to test the product in order to create an even bigger wave of hype and intrigue and further increase brand exposure. 
Now you know everything about your best friend. The Posting Tale. Available at pedigree.es.